Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be continuing our Parasite 101 and starting to look at different individual parasites. Starting off with white spot disease, also known as ick. In freshwater, it's Ichthyopterus multifilis is the causative parasite. In saltwater, it's Cryptocarian irritans. So yes, there is a freshwater and a saltwater version and they operate very similarly. So this is one of the parasites. I know in the Parasite 101 video, it's like, if you see an occasional parasite, not really big deal. If you see one of these guys, uh, you need to start treating right away because they have um, kind of a complex life cycle where they have an insisted stage. So when a little cyst lands on your fish, this is actually that white ball that you can actually, well, sometimes see on your fish. Usually they're gonna be actually in the gills of the fish. This is where they replicate. And one of those little balls, cysts, is going to open up and release a thousand little therons or infective organisms. So even if we see one spot, um, it's going to be a big problem very quickly because obviously one times a thousand times a thousand times a thousand to whatever power that is can over overwhelm a system very quickly. So this is one of the few parasites. If you see one, you're going to need to start treating it. And it's very important with is that you understand the life cycle. And like a lot of other things in fish, it's gonna be temperature dependent. So with this, it's really gonna dictate how your treatment is gonna kind of progress. And I highly recommend you, you start this with a veterinarian because a lot of the over-the-counter treatments, they get the first, you know, two go-arounds, but then the cysts explode again and all hell breaks loose in your system again. So it's very important that you get a correct diagnosis with this and develop an appropriate treatment plan based on your species and your tank uh, water temperature. Now, a lot of people actually confuse ick or white spot with a couple other things that produce those same little white spots on fish. A lot of the times, if they're on the fins of the fish, especially if they're in a little row along the side, like a perfect little line, uh, these are actually fin ray fractures. So what happens uh, within the fins of basically any kind of fin on a fish, uh, they have these little cartilaginous rays that give the fin support. And if they bump into one of these, if they you know rub up against um, a sticker or something decor, they'll break. And with that, it's going to cause a little localized infection that can look like a little white spot. And a lot of the times people will start to rush for the drugs. They pull a bunch of drugs in and they've saved their fish when really it wasn't actually white spot to begin with. Um, there's also a couple different viruses that can produce white spots on fish. Um, lymphocystis caused by an aridovirus and megalocytovirus in saltwater fish. These can also look pretty much identical to white spots. And thankfully your veterinarian will be able to diagnose them, do a little scrape, look at it under the microscope, and it's really easy to, to tell the difference between A, if in ray fractures, you, you can't scrape it off. The other two you can. And then depending on if it's a parasite or just kind of a little viral inclusion with all their goo in it, um, very easy to tell the difference. So if you are concerned about white spots on your fish, and you might not see the spots, uh, again, since they're replicating in the gills, you can see lethargy, decreased appetite, um, a lot of respiratory effort, which, which is really hard in fish if you haven't been watching them for a while. And again, it, it's very hard to determine normal in some of these species, um, and sudden death. So all of these can be a sign of white spot, and they might not show white spots. So again, veterinarian doing diagnostics will definitely always look at the gills and we'll be able to see those replicating organisms very quickly. But again, white spot you do not want to mess around with. If you suspect it's in your tank or you fish are just dying for no reason, please call your aquatic veterinarian. Um, you have the American Association of Fish Veterinarians at fishdevets.org and the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association for you international viewers at wavma.org. So they have a new find a fish vet button and that is an international organization. So again, white spot, don't mess with it. Get a diagnosis, get a treatment, effective treatment, not a box from over the counter. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned a little something about all the fun, beginning to talk about all the fun diseases that fish can have. Um, if you have any more questions, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.